support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And it's that man, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes again, and a little bit of a stumbling block regarding Bruno Fernandes' transfer to Manchester United. But before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter with United X and smash that bell button for the latest Manchester United news. So yes, um, Bruno Fernandes, or more importantly, Ed Woodward, um, as I posted with several videos before, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had his pre-match press conference today and was asked directly about um, Bruno Fernandes. And basically, in summary, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's words were, um, with no information, or keep you updated, we'll let you know when there's more information. That's essentially paraphrasing, but that's what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said. So clearly, as I've said multiple times in previous videos, if United weren't in for Bruno Fernandes, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Ed Woodward, the whole entire club would have come out and outright denied it by now. So there's no doubt in my mind that Manchester United are negotiating for Bruno Fernandes from Sporting Lisbon. The issue here seems to be regarding Ed Woodward. And this comes directly from, um, direct from Sky Sports actually regarding the fact that Manchester United are struggling to come to an agreement with Sporting Lisbon over a fee. And this is probably the same issue that happened over the summer where Sporting Lisbon essentially won 64 million outright for the player, and Manchester United, i.e. Edward Wood and Aglaire, is only prepared to give 40 million plus 10 million worth of add-ons. There's also talk in addition of the fact that there's going to be a player involved, a Rojo or Pereira, to go the other way in addition to cash. That is also bringing up its own issues with the fact that both Pereira and Rojo, who have been touted to potentially be involved in the deal, may want to go to other clubs who are not particularly interested thus also causing further delay. So, essentially, and just on Twitter just now, about an hour ago, which shows that Edward was gone to Paris. So, essentially, once again, Manchester United, once again, very slow transfers, very slow in getting things done. And it comes back to the man I said the title, Ed Woodward. You know, it is very simple. Manchester United are a very rich club, and they could easily fork out 64 million, 65 million for Bruno Fernandes, and the deal would have been done at the beginning of this week. But because of Ed Woodward and Glazer's ongoing negotiation tactic, this deal is, is being considerably delayed. The only hope in this situation, quite frankly, is that Sporting Lisbon need the money. Um, he's put, Bruno Fernandes is going to go at some point and um, United, because the player has come out and said or uh, expressed his interest in wanting to join United, um, Manchester United are in the driving seat. But it's not 100% guaranteed because of Ed Woodward and the sport, unfortunately. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. The latest update is that, once again, to summarise people, Manchester United are in for Bruno Fernandes, but the biggest stumbling right, 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 right now is Manchester United's negotiation tactic and Ed Woodward not wanting to fork out £64 million outright and instead opting for £50 million with £10 million worth of add-ons, which sporting are currently declining. Thanks, everyone, for listening, guys. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X, and smash that notification button, the bell, for the latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.